Hello, the 10th stage in the limited challenge has been released. I've tried the stage to see how it is. Now it's difficult. Not as difficult as that awful Grim Reaper stage, but still difficult. Now the enemies here are all pretty recognisable. You've got Death Knight, now renamed Dark Knight. Everything's been corrupted by darkness. Shrouded have a thing to say about that, he loves darkness, doesn't he? Um got Hard Rocks, now known as Dark Rocks. We've got Dark Serpent. We've got the Strix, which is now renamed Dark Dragon for some reason. And we've got the Chaos Dragon, Gravios now. I'm not surprised he's actually in this because in the Wonder Short movie his sister, Dream Witch, is seen assisting Death Knight, so I had the feeling either one of them or both of them would be in this, and we've got Chaos Dragon, so that's an interesting little fact for you there. Now, these are going to be that a main focus when you start each part of the stage. They can heal, so you want to take them down first, but they're really weak, so that won't be an issue. And you've got these as well, which you're going to want to focus on a bit, because once you defeat them they do a lot of damage so in the second part of the stage you've got a lot of them so once one falls another will fall it's all kind of like a domino effect now your requirements have gone back to normal just all heroes must survive got to use pegasus and another required hero in this case it's magmaroid now he's a really nice pay to play hero to have he can stun enemies and he also does quite a bit of damage, so he's nice to have on your team. You won't hinder you, and you will like using him. Now, the free to play hero lineup I've chosen is Prima Donna for healing, Track for a high damage output and ability to defeat enemies very quickly, and Black Crow because she can make the enemies bleed, and her ultimate can hit a lot of the enemies as well fast stealing a lot of damage so she's great to use as well and without further ado let's begin Let now to start off with you've just got some soldiers dark dragon and couch dragon when you get into the stage pretty donna will take quite a lot of damage she won't fall so as soon as she does take all that damage just heal and then start going for those dark dragons they don't have a lot of health, so it won't be an issue defeating them. When you're left with just Chaos Dragon, unless you need to heal, don't use any ultimates. Just save them for the next stage. Got a bunch of Dark Rocks and Dark Dragons again. Go for the Dark Dragons. Now those Dark Rocks enemies can do quite a lot of damage with their laser attacks, so you're going to want to be um, vigilant with your healing. Now the interesting thing with these Dark Rocks enemies is when you defeat one, you, you defeat another. So go for one that's very easy to defeat and you essentially defeat two for the price of one. Pretty interesting mechanic. That one there is going to go down pretty quick, so I'll save my ultimates there. And we've got the boss and his cronies. Now at some point you will get a um, Chaos Dragon reinforcement. But as um, with the first two parts of this stage, you're going to want to go for the Dark Dragons first in order to remove any healing capabilities. You can't target the um, Hard Rocks enemies until Pegasus has moved and all the other heroes move forward. When that happens, start targeting the Hard Rocks or Dark Rocks enemies with your ultimates. That was great, Pegasus. Pegasus most likely will fall during this, but by the time that happens you won't have very many enemies left, so don't worry too much about that. Once 
once the hard rocks enemies have fallen, defeat Chaos Dragon next because he'll be easiest to defeat, then the Serpent and then Death Knight. And there you go, that's the stage and takeaway notes. I'm gonna um, go out of this screen because Chuck is just gonna keep interrupting me and it's very annoying. So some takeaway notes for that. You're firstly going to want to um, defeat the Dark Dragons in order to take away any healing capabilities. After that you're going to want to go for the Hard Rocks enemies. On the last stage, once the Dark Dragons and the Hard Rocks have fallen, you're going to want to um, target Chaos Dragon. Once he's gone, then you can go for the Dark Serpent and when he's gone then you go for Death Knight. It's pretty um, straightforward there. It can get difficult, especially with the amount of damage that can be dealt, but if you're vigilant with your healing and the order in which you defeat the enemy, you should be fine. Now, just one more thing I want to say is thank you to anyone who's watched this, liked this, left a comment or subscribe. I feel these for fun on my phone so to get like over a thousand views on a video is just incredible for me i do it for fun so all that support is incredible thank you so much and there you go that's the stage